This is Module 6, Case Problem 4, 2016, Advanced Excel. I am doing the steps as per the textbook with no deviation like I've done in the past. And I will have a addendum, if you will, at the end of the video for all who are interested in the way this program would really be used in a real office or real business setting. So let's go right to the first instruction, which is to open the Maryland workbook. I am going to tell you there are several different files in this assignment. Don't be alarmed. You're just going to do the same thing in each file, and then in the end it's going to come together in one perfect little bow. I'm go I was going to blow past this portion because everybody should know how to put in the author's name, your name, and the date. However, I noticed that I started to do something which I tell everybody not to do, and that is to type on the original file without giving it its own name first. So, I recommend everybody now stop typing and go to File Save As, and you're going to save it with a different name. I understand that the textbook gives you something specific. It doesn't matter. I always save things like this, and um, the professor will know, but the, nobody's going to see these files anyway. These are all ingredients to what comes later, so don't worry about it. Save it as whatever it is. Just keep your original file intact. So I'm, I always use my initials and revised in front of it, whatever it is, and then I save it. Okay, so we should all have put in author, date, all that kind of stuff, and we're just going to go right to the first instruction, which is to... The book says open the Delaware and Virginia workbooks, save them as whatever it tells you. So let's do that in order of textbook steps. It just occurred to me that there is a trick to opening these that maybe you don't know, so I shouldn't do off recording. Go to File, Open, go down to Browse, and then it's going to take you back to the folder you were last in. So if you hold down the Control key, while you click on Delaware and Virginia, see they're both highlighted, let go of control, click open, you'll open them both at the same time, and since you're going to rename them and not use them, this is a good opportunity to get them um, renamed. Okay, so everything's saved, all our workbooks are saved. You cannot see all the text in here, which you can tell according to the fact that the words are cut off. And so if you just double click on those lines, it will make it so that everything in there shows. These lines right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were recording. Okay, so the first instruction is to group the salesperson worksheets. There's a very easy way to do this. If you see that B Copeland's sheet is highlighted, if you hold down shift, go over here to the last sheet and click it, they're grouped. How easy was that? Pay close attention because these instructions are going to be the same for the Maryland sheet, the Delaware sheet, and the Virginia sheet. I'm not going to record it all three times, so you may have to go back and rewatch it, but the instructions are the same. The names may be different, the figures may be different, but there's a summary that wraps it all up in the end. So the next instruction says to calculate projected sales for each month by multiplying the 2017 gross sales and projected increase, which, again, I see the text is not all showing. There we go. It doesn't need to be that big, but whatever. Okay. So you see that this projected increase is going to be the same for all the months. What does that say? That says it's going to be an absolute reference. So if we go up here and we enter the formula for how we're going to find projected sales, which is going to be the gross sales times the projected increase. But since we want it to be absolute, if we hit F4, it made it absolute. Hit Enter. There you go. So now, since the formula is going to be the same for every month, we're going to grab hold of the little corner and just pull it down. There you go. Now, for the stunning part, if you click out on documentation and then click back on, oh, I don't know, click on a row, 
Look, it did the formula in all the sheets at the same time. You didn't have to go to each sheet and did it, do it. When you did it on one and it was grouped, all of them were done at the same time. Wasn't that easy?